In the previous video, we have implemented a button to regenerate our map. Now we are going to take care of implementing a loading screen. Okay, so last thing I want to do is to create a loading screen so we know that something is going on before we have a generated map using the map brain algorithm. So let's create that right now. So what we will start for, uh, from is a UI controller class. So let's create one. Okay, let's open it up. And what we are going to implement here is a couple of uh, variables. Let's start from a public st uh, static UI controller called instance. We will use singleton pattern here. Public slider alt enter import using uh, Unity Engine UI. Okay, great. Let's call it slider. Next, there will be public text mesh pro u GUI. Alt enter. We can use this. We will need to impl import some of the some parts of the text mesh pro, but we will do this in a while. But we will do it next. First, let's create this uh, class. So loading text. Okay, and public game object. A loading panel okay great and we will have awake method here if instance equals null then we are going to say instance equals this else if instance is different than this then we are going to call destroy game object since we are using singleton pattern that's all for the awake Next, we will create public void reset screen. And we are going to uh, say loading panel that active equals true. Okay. Loading text dot text equals 0%. So let's type a string 0%. And we are going to say slider dot value equals zero. Okay, that's it for the reset screen. Next, we are going to create public void set loading value. We are going to pass here float value, and we are going to say loading loading text dot text equals int uh, value times 100 because we are going to uh, show it as a percent plus and string percent sign and we are going to say slider dot value equals value okay and last method here will be public void hide loading screen And it will be simply setting loading panel set active to false. Okay. Great. And let's save it. Let's go back to Unity. What we will need to create is a UI canvas. Inside it, we will need a panel. So UI a panel okay great uh, in this panel we will have a text mesh pro text import tmp essentials and it should import our text mesh pro okay great and we will set font to the font that i have provided to you great and let's see we can type here loading okay and what we will need next is another of those one of those so we can uh, use ctrl d we can go to the scene 2d let's find this text mesh pro let's move it here let's set it to zero percent okay let's that's basically it and what we will need to do here is also implement a slider and this will be a slider 
let's put it down here. Let's use UI uh, tools to make it larger. What we will need to do here is take the handle and delete it. Great. And what we will need to do here is to set its value from 0 to 1. Okay, that's great. And we will disable it. So interactable set to false. And change the disabled color to white. And we can enlarge it. Okay. Maybe let's put this uh, percent below. Okay. This isn't that bad. Now we can set the panel color to something different than white. Something like this. Possibly. Let's see. Okay, this looks decent enough. And we are going to uh, maybe drag this UI controller onto the canvas. And let's put the slider into the slider field. Loading text as the text uh, of the 0%. So let's go back to slider. Let's, set it. let's change the name to loading text. Great. Let's choose canvas. Drag the loading text here. And loading panel will be this panel. Great. And now we can go to the map brain class. Okay, and what we are going to do here is to find our run algorithm. We are going to type UI controller dot instance dot reset screen. Okay. Next, let's find the uh, genetic algorithm. Okay. After yield return, we can call UI controller dot instance dot uh, set loading value and we are going to set it to a generation number divided by float generation limit okay so this will indicate how far are we in the process of loading or creating our map or generating our result rather and let's slide down to search for the show result. And here, after we visualize our map, we can say UI controller dot instance dot hide loading screen. Okay, great. Let's go back to Unity. We can set the panel to be disabled for now. Let's run the game. And we can choose the brain, run the genetic algorithm, and we can see that the loading panel is there. And it, it disappears when the map is being loaded. And let's run it again. And we see there is a progress of our genetic algorithm. And again, we can see the result. Great. So we can also enable animation. And I, I encourage you to play around with those settings sorry, in the map brain. And... There are a couple of things that you can preset. You can try generating a larger map. Of course, keep in mind that the population size and the generation limit will make the algorithm run uh, slower or faster. But for our example, uh, it does not exactly mean that it will generate a better map. Hopefully it will. But you can see with 43 generations, it runs a quite much slower, about 6 seconds. And the result is pretty uh, similar to what we had before and we can see the best solution generation 22 so this is a big excess of what we need so generation limit can stay about 40 24 for example and let's see how long it will take it had taken about four seconds for us to generate this map and we can see that we have these two corners or almost three corners for uh, together so let's increase the fitness cor near corner weight to 3. Let's regenerate. Let's see if we can fix that. And we can see that, yes, we have only two corners now, or at least three. So it doesn't do much, but we have this option to maybe try limiting the number of those two corners together. Of course, uh, we can see that this prolongs our path. So basically, those two conditions might uh, negate each other. So if we want the longest path, we cannot really uh, delete all the near corners, so corners near each other. But we can certainly upgrade this algorithm, work a bit on this fitness function to achieve even better results. And I encourage you to try it on your own to try to upgrade this model.
And if you have enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me through Patreon. Take care.